All right. Do you think there'll be more bad judging this weekend? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Because uh, not only are we in California for Bellator, and the California State Athletic Commission is just notoriously terrible um, for boxing and for MMA. You know, remember when, when, uh, when John Jones got caught for the uh, trace amount of PEDs or whatever, and they had to move the Nevada State Athletic Commission wasn't going to license him to fight because of that. So the fight was off. But then Dana moved the fight to Anaheim because the California State Athletic Commission let doesn't they don't they don't care. They'll let that kind of stuff happen. So that's why uh, that's why we're there. And uh, the forum in Inglewood, great venue. But yeah, I feel like um, bad judging is, and that's another reason why I'm betting on Manny Miro. To be honest, I wouldn't be shocked if we see just a terrible split decision win from Miro here. Um, and then another thing. You got two events happening on the same night within not too far of each other, right? Uh, if Vegas and LA, so it's you're gonna get the B crew at some point. Some of these fights are gonna have the B crew because it's different when you have like a Friday in Uncasville and then a Saturday in um, Vegas. You know, some of those judges will travel, um, but when you when you have when you have them both on the same night, it's the same with the refs, right? You'll see, you watch even with BKFC, you, you'll see it even with Bellator. You see this a lot of the same referees, you know. Sometimes there's a lot, there's more in Bellator that you don't see in the UFC, but you know, you see Herzog and Bellator and stuff like that. Um, you know, we used to see Herb Dean a lot more in Bellator, not as much anymore. But uh, it's the same thing with the judges. They, it's all interchangeable with whatever, even PFL, uh, you, even with LFA, we see the uh, different judges, um, or the same judges in just different events. But you see, there's depending on where you are, and that's what we're, we've talked about before, with like in Virginia or in in Texas, where they have, you know, they bring in their own guys sometimes. Uh, which is, you know, that whole good old boys thing where it's just people making money, um, people getting paid extremely high amounts of uh, of money to do things that they're not qualified to do. And sometimes they'll bring in uh, their own people. You know, um, we saw that even in that uh, that Arizona card with that one referee that was refing the Paul Craig, um, that Paul Craig fight where uh, he broke his arm. Uh, Paul Craig, I can't remember who it was. Uh, I forget his opponent's name, but he broke his arm, and the referee was just letting the fight go on, and he was just clearly not a qualified for elite-level MMA and just let what's-his-name get his, uh, uh, his arm broken or dislocated, his elbow dislocated. Let the fight continue. Um so yeah, uh, especially when it's the same on oh, it's the same night, it's the same night, not that far in the vicinity of each other. So normally, probably those judges who live in Vegas or live in the Vegas vicinity would travel out to uh, Bellator if it was on a Friday, and then they'd work the Saturday UFC Vegas thirty three. But it's not like that. So what we get is the B team, right? And the B team is a bunch of other not um qualified judges and um i would say that there's probably more of a chance that we see some terrible decisions in in los angeles than we do in nevada um than we do at the apex but <laughs> after what we saw last week i don't know man i really don't know so yeah my answer is yes absolutely that's a guarantee. There'll be one, I don't know about robbery, but there'll be some questionable scorecards, 
even like 100%. That's the lock of the weekend, actually. 